Mbunani Sanbunani Makai and welcome to another entertaining, engaging uh, episode of what we call Daily Seta. Just figure this wheel of footy swazi look at change, call your pants in the above footy and tabasha. Sit digit a lot of good game bell and bella tina, gentlemen tabasha smooth teen, smooth zwagala, unga call to put in mellow wins, which is to be a part of the conversation. Meluti hashtag delitator with Facebook, with Instagram, with Twitter, pin the photo kumbule. We are live on Facebook Live. Come again, Melo to a meal, who can you spell Abangazigi? I want business sheriff. Sitting here, some disorder, Connig, of course, to Fortune Roga Madala, who Yena, who is our sign interpreter as we start the show. But I'm having it to us. Kenda Nicolette or Rama Shilker, do me long South Africa, and as many is already said, no color level at Tabaya Utoha. Uchaba Ying as a South African. I can tell you many things, so negative Chaba, but I think the number one thing that I've got big fear for is just being hunted down as a woman. Mm -hmm. It really feels like Fedori Paul for Lomo South Africa. We're being hunted down, we're being harassed, we're being assaulted, we're being raped. That for me is one of my biggest fears. But also, of course, as the financial bunny, I'm also really, really, really afraid of unemployment. Mm -hmm. What do you do as a young South African who is trying to start their job, their life, yeah. you know, everything that you're trying to do in your life, and then all of a sudden the only income you have to do is taken away from you. That's what we're going to be talking about. Yeah. Remember, we're going to join a conversation on social media. Just remember to hashtag Daily Teta. Mm. And our beautiful Lude Kwazi was out in the streets. Yeah. Let's go and see what they had to say. Do you have any fears that you're struggling with? And when are we going to do it? I'm going to human trafficking. Because it's in a like sings the accept Sagalula. i and yeah, because of usually sometimes when I go, okay, I've been working at this restaurant, you understand? So there were these rumors about me, uh, about my sexuality, lesbian this, lesbian that. So my manager decided to take me out, to fire me with no uh, written warnings or whatever, you understand? So uh, <laughs> I'm asking myself for it. Uh, my sexuality, how come can my, sec my sexuality can be involved uh, where I'm working, you understand? My fear is to grow uh, the challenges at the entire South Africa because when I see myself growing in, 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 in a very fearful country, I become scared because uh, I'm going to face those challenges as a young person and that means growth as a person is at stake. Looking at South Africa right now, our state of unemployment is so high that I, I cannot even think. And um, the, the most sad part is that we have decreased, we have diplomas, but there are no jobs. That's my fear too, that I might go to school, but after school, what am I going to do, you know? So my biggest fear would be unemployment. <laughs> Because of what they say, give me the money. Understand the scene, do whatever. But I didn't kill anyone. You understand? I live my own life, and I didn't steal anyone's feelings. It's my own feeling. Since I'm not blessed by Zani, I go my way. No matter how much I try, I'm not going to lose my trust. So, local scenes are good. City is good. No matter how much I try, I'm not going to lose my trust. Experience here is seeing hundred South Africa gay xenophobia. You know, one is living in, in a country that does not appreciate uh, uh, black consciousness. You know, at the time of Nagotabu uh, Steve Biko, Banibalwanela, black consciousness, African uh, 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 unite. So, fear ya kaki ona ye nono ya racism ete nka haruho South Africa, retane retibe hoke kama Africa rebana ba muto alimu, yes. We come from uh, a history where uh, other people are more privileged than us uh, when it comes to race, but at this point what Mandela and other leaders have done, 
they've uh, paved the way for us. It's time for us to take uh, a, 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 leap for, a leap of faith, you know, take control as the youth to have confidence, self-confidence, and, and, and start working on our own. It is quite evident that Wonke Umdopila up in South Africa lives in fear and I know about Ketela or Ganyabiz Tandela but its circumstances in the Kubele and Ifnaga Songes Kumbulu but before this crime and femicide and anything we are all human beings and that really is the concept of Ubuntu must be a lenem umtu umtu ngabantu. Natu ya zwela ki na uguti ni zinigi nginga zinazo but engu uguti is where from a time tine za mandaba miyama who were living in fear of ukumilji in doing a party. Got this cut in some manje, si kaunti sisi free 25 years into democracy, sisi pila ni nginga ngu lu manje wepa, we can't even leave our homes because si tu gile. Asa za uguti we're going to be hit by crime or maybe even where sisi so shawe unemployment or tampe sisi so shugunye zwa umama oru si isi nji ni kongke nginga genzega but asisi za uguti tina our studio guests have to say. My brother what's your name and what's your fear? Good day, my name is Delmain. I'm a teacher in the uh, East Rand, right? Yeah. My biggest fear has got to be drug abuse. Mm. Not just drug abuse in general, but purely pointed towards drug abuse amongst the youth. So, okay, I think your mic is, uh, we've lost connection. Let me, let me try to find another one. But Nicolette, for the moment? Yeah, I think, I think for now, let's, let's, let's ask my sister here, and then we'll come back to that side, Melody. South Africa. Okay, I read to our a bit of a technical issue, but I think we can still read a little bit of social media melody. Carol Christ Tehila Ari, my fear is due to the high level of crime. It, it causes us to increase the unemployment rate. I just quit my job because I, I can't imagine your own personal possessions being taken away from you. Mm. Also got my another message in Kenya. My fear is due to the high level of crime. Uh, it causes us to increase the unemployment rate. Just oh, that's the same one. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> But if, even in that, I wanted to come back to that one. Yeah. Here's the thing. I remember I was literally going to church, yeah. being a son twin. And this man literally conned me of my shoes and my socks. As a small boy, I was literally six years old. It was crazy. <laughs> my greatest fear is leaving this earth without fulfilling my purpose. I strongly believe that we were all uniquely born with our specific purpose to fulfill in life and dying without achieving that will question my significance, which is why I make the most of every single day and live a life to my fullest potential. So, sure. Melody, it just makes me think. Castoris, one of our producers, told us Gorbamu Tsweri, but Motema Kontumia High at 10 o'clock in the morning. 10 o'clock in the morning. Bago Tsweri, Bago Tsweri, Bago Tsweri, Bago Bago Degiza. I na guys, that doesn't make sense to me. But I think that's what we're going to be talking about. Lo kono maga daily teta. And ako nukumbu luguti. Some of those people are back angayo. Batala na tindi. Batala mpaga tini yetu. Abo putbe yetu. Abo malume be yetu. And at what point na ati sfi luguti? We need to be honest. Yeah. Mm. As but we do apologize for all the technical issues that we're experiencing right now. You know what they let her to one is on. It's not a rune. 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 Always we're on point. But we're always on point with technical stuff. Yeah. But unfortunately, we do have a bit of technical difficulties. But it's not a big problem. Yeah. Please do stay with us after the break. She was asking for I wardrobe. I was asking for wardrobe. Yeah, and two shoes. Sat them all look. 
buat lah. Um, and I'll tell you why. He, um, I'm starting with audience first. As a teacher, school violence. Just one it'll audience, back and then to we'll when I bring the mic to you, when you okay. express the fears that comes with the drugs. So I'm not. Good. Rala Magala back on daily tets. Le honor level at Tabarur Nambo, South African Naba, Chaba Yingina, King Lothar Dibats, Elabur Rock, or Bushiro. It's just you end up finding yourself Uba Lavala, Bushurna, Banabaka Kiva Chocomela Viang, Merukaka Ku Chocomela Viang, Musadi Wakakim Chocomela Viang, Banabaka Bona Mustra Teng, Bona Kiva Chocomela Viang. And that's what we want to just focus a little bit on in terms of looking at our schools also, our children. How are they going to be surviving if Rune, the adults, are not even surviving ourselves. We're speaking to Hannes. Hannes, talk to me a little bit about what are some of your biggest fears. Well, there's a lot of fears in South Africa, yeah. which we have, but the crime is on top of the list. Yeah. It got so bad that we actually want to immigrate a lot of times in the past, but uh, we so soon realized, and I think it's for all South Africans to realize, that we are born here for a reason and a purpose. And God has put us in this country for a reason and a purpose and that we must fulfill it. Where, Hannes, where are you going to emigrate to where there's no crime? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> th that is a problem. <laughs> they, is, they, yes. Each country has got its own issues. Uh, issues, yes. You don't have kids yet, right? No, we don't have kids. Can you tell me the reason why? The, the thing is because of the country's state at the yeah. moment and uh, their future, yeah. we are very afraid to, to get kids. You know what? Mm. Mafusi's also got a story similar to yours, but she has Unalungwana. And there's something that happened to Wana Hawa. Can you tell us the story, Mafusi? Um, to Melang, mm. um, Kalibi Soke Mafusi Lebenya. Um, last year, around Nako E, between mm. February, if not March, um, my adult son, Balabam Kenya Kaputin, mm. and Ukenya Kaputin ki a neighbor. If it wasn't for my younger son, Nikabiki Satsebi. How old mm. is your younger son? My younger son, he was, okay, because this is telling, he was seven last year. Seven years old. Oh, yes. he was seven years old. 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 Sure. Patum. Yes. He was seven years old. 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 Apparently, this thing, it happened on Thursday. Yeah. He claims he was seven years old. He was seven years old. Okay. And then he um ah that go panali me waka okay by so far jolo kotwa baholo because na nekili skolo eh ha by so far jolo kotwa baholo um ya fail Saturday if a deal Saturday we are now about the front opposite ya munda to modlante o champa strata ha to champa strata onka we are now umkenya kaputi we are kuala patong and then when I come here, we have to eat at a mat. Eh. Or I can say, "Don't you suck a pudding, Kema?" We are shaking that to all the old young. Yes, it's going to show me. More show me about my old land thing hard because kids are home and care. Eh. Okay, kids can go to home. Ah, come more than one hour. Don't you suck it? Eh. We are chew. Kifunile muak. Muak a funile show me. Show me a little hona. Kifunile 
um, this mm. other family friend of ours, mm. yeah. I go to the police station. I go to the police station. Okay, my police are tell one. How about tell one? But no, sort this matter as between yourselves as, as neighbors. Oh, so mm. I don't know whether resolve because Bona, the, the the guy who took my son inside the boot, Nibona, they were speaking the same language. Mama, oh, 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 Mm. How were you feeling throughout this entire experience? Get to it. And a little day, like, I still feel bad. One. One. And then my fear is that he's a boy and anger early, high hole, it's a boy. Yeah. Can, can, can you imagine, Melody, the mm. trauma young one, or about cancer, you made a mistake. But what if you didn't do it? The biggest problem was to set the impact in Ilana. Back in the day, we used to live in communities where your child is my child. Yes. We don't have impact in. Yes. Because just feel like cutting. We think any of Ilana, like hey, like I don't understand. What? How did things change so fast overnight? Got again. We have a caller. Uh, call, uh, Katia, welcome to Daily Tata. Katia, how? Katia, how are you there? Hello. It's a bit, but I think yeah. his biggest fear, Melody, is is he's studied for to teach commerce subjects. Sure. But the schools around him, Adina, they don't offer commerce. You see, again, it goes back to the conversation. Sometimes we need to also do our research, building up to our career journeys. Yeah. Because it's kind of the thing you must know, Wuti, because I want this job, I want to work here. And sometimes we find there's a disconnect. But all the way from MTV to an and I mean, as a teacher, Pumran, as a Muntu, or seven Zangangan, school and violence in communities. Yeah. But let's speak about the violence, a cold way, mm. where you see a video of a child hitting a teacher. Pumran, Jango teacher, on big stars, Vito. Jango teacher, I think uh, my biggest fear is ill disciplined kids yeah. and uh, gang formations in, in schools. Yeah. Uh, once it happens that a child is ill-disciplined, you'll always fear when you're a teacher coming to work because yeah. you never know what's going to happen. So and now, the biggest defeat sure. when your fear is going to arise 100% is when you call a parent and say, parent, your child is doing one, two, three. And then the parent tells you and says, Yo. you're going to be defeated and you're going to be scared and say, What's next? What's going to happen? So that is my fear. Ill-disciplined kids and gang formations in schools. Pulman, I said, we said, Kaya, have you had an experience? I mean, you come from a very good school. You was local, we visited your school before. But when, in your experience, have you experienced this physically as Colin? Yeah, it has happened a couple of times. And it takes a really uh, dedicated teacher, Uti, uh, you handle the situation properly. So when these mm -hmm. things happen, they escalate. You try to get assistance as much as possible. 
you avoid confrontations because of once you confront an ill-disciplined learner in front of other learners, you are in trouble, my man, because yeah. of that child, if he or she is able to do that yeah. in front of Pam Gwabant, it means that child can humiliate you even yeah. as a kaya and hege was a man's in it. was in front of Pam Gwabant. In front of Pam Gwabant. <laughs> I've got another teacher here. If you can just pass the mic, Ugutini. Um, he also comes with his experience as a teacher. My brother, tell me about your experience, John Wattisha. I think the biggest, like you mentioned, the fear of violence, right? But I think it comes down to the fact that the parents aren't there, for yeah. one. The parents are not there. Sure. Second, they're in harsh economic conditions. Yeah. Right? And then the biggest one, one that I personally despise, has got to be drug abuse. Mm. Sure. Especially amongst young children. Can you, can you just imagine that? 11, 12 year olds entering your class high as a kite. Sure. Sitting there in front, you teaching a lesson, you thinking to yourself, I want to impact them, I want to give them something. Sure. But they're just sitting there, thinking about where they're going to get their next fix. An 11, 12 year old, how? How does an 11 year old fall to drugs? Nicolette? But wrong. Like, like, you know what, today, you're also a teacher. Mm, can, former can, teacher. A former teacher. Yeah. Can you tell us some of your experiences with the violence at schools? Violence at, at schools are just a microcosm of the society at large. Okay. So everything that you see happen in the classroom is happening in the home ah, and then in the streets. Ah. Drugs are a serious problem, yes. but at the root of it all is the fact that the kids don't have money at home. They become addicted to gambling as a result. Yes. They might just decide to bunk the entire school day just to spin, play some sweepy yeah. or play some dice. Yeah. And in banking, other things happen aside from that. The drug abuse is a reality. Yes. Mm. But on my first day at the school I was at uh, last year, um, a boy got stabbed in the class. At home. The class didn't have a teacher and the teacher wasn't there, so they were bunking in there. Uh, the following week, while bunking again, there was an alleged gang rape there in the back of the school. A couple of months later, while bunking again, the kid gets stabbed in the neck. With what? What are, what are they knife. stabbing each other? A and knife. The, the problem is that it might not always be the kids who do this. The guys in the streets find out that uh, the kids have received tablets. Yes. Because we've got this new e-learning system. Yes. They know those kids will receive the tablets. They know where those kids will bunk. And they know where to get those kids. Uh, when I am on Tosa, on Tosa, on Tosa, <laughs> we're going to come back to you. But I think irrevalent social media from Bongi saying is that our, my biggest fear is that the robot is in future will take jobs and will be out of jobs soon. What will happen to the next coming generation? But what's about AI, Melodi? I'm Manyazin, guys. You know, the fourth industrial revolution, I've seen the million tools, yeah. million C's. The fourth industrial revolution is here to advance in Pilo. It's here to advance. But, yeah. Lalel, so many topics are cool, man. I have a band. So, as we send food, we go to the world. We go to the world. We go to the world. Hashtag delete. It's a best boy. So, to get a cool little job. My name is Kine Luciate.
my name is Gine Luciate and I am currently staying in Shanghai, in China. I am a early childhood development teacher, so I teach children from the ages of six months all the way to three years old and that's what I do in China. And I wanted to know what's out there in the world because if you stay in one place for too long, that's all you know. And I wanted to know different things, you know, how different people are. And China is completely different from, from what I know. So it was a very easy decision. So that's why I decided to come and work here in China. I don't have any fears. I have a, a good job. There are many opportunities here for, for anybody. Just remember why you're here. And uh, one of the reasons why I like China is because it is very safe. It is completely safe. I'm not saying there isn't crime, but um, I can I can say for the first time in a long time I can breathe. Yes, I don't have to worry about walking down the street and someone trying to rob me or anything like that. Cat calling me, calling me names, making me feel unsafe. That's I don't have any any fears right now. <laughs> when I've been living here, you find if there's a problem with unemployment, the government already has a plan for that. You know, if there's well, something that we're going through now, uh, the coronavirus, you know, there is like an action towards it. They don't wait. So there's like an immediate response. But in, I said, I don't think there is an immediate response because how many years have we been crying about safety, unemployment and corruption? And again, there's no immediate response. So those are some of the fears, I guess, that's going on. Change is inevitable. So whatever happens will happen. I can't say what I hope would happen. What I hope would happen is that women do take up more space. You know, like we get a voice, we get a say, because there's no point in men coming up with situations for women when they aren't women. You know, it's like, that doesn't make any sense, you know. Welcome back. As Livona Luna Daily Chatter has gone international. We've got a beautiful new feature. Rifi Charangba, Sovamo South Africa, who are placed in different parts of Alifasi. So we are worldwide, guys. 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 So we are China. guys. So we are worldwide, guys. Because she is part of the Daily Chatter family. Now, I just want you to focus quickly on the statistic. In 2019, statistic era, at least 29 percent and just even slightly above 29 percent of south africans are unemployed but about the labor canada colo by faith that you call after the degrees of one and i think melody spoke quite a lot about this corona ntowi makangus kolong we chute angus kolong is it going to be able to give you a job and does it open up a lot of job opportunities because but about the labor labor ai kio if it's here ai to tell them america right you are going america you don't even need a petrol attendant anymore or chale petrol because swipe a cat yago with the chale petrol or sepile can we bring something like that to South Africa, will it take away jobs? And that's what we're going to be talking about. When now, we've got an economist, 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 the economy of South Africa, AI, should we be in fear? Uh, it is something to be of concern for um, South Africans. Uh, it depends what, to what our response is to this fourth industrial okay. revolution here. Okay. Um, in the current state, in South Africa, we have grade one. Uh, by the time a figure metric grade 12, over half of those learners who started grade one in that year, which is from a million to about 600,000 who then matriculate yes. um, over that period. Um, almost half of those kids then but out of the education yes, system. Yes. And how are they contributing or building their own lives? Yes. And Mina what is our response from a policy perspective? Yes. And what is our response as a whole many? Nagulento Leye, Fourth Industrial Revolution. What are we doing as a, as a mass South Africans to take advantage of that? Speaking about that, we've got an episode that's still coming up. The face of education in South Africa. Now, Marilibella syllabus in South Africa. Is it actually readying our students, even if it's just the 600 that do matriculate, is it readying them for a life of AI, a life within AI, and a life yeah. of working with AI? 
Well, since Bonilla, who Minister of uh, uh, of Basic Education, cited what they are making efforts to introduce uh, coding, coding at the mm. level of a primary school, mm. which I think is a good indication and is a good step forward. But I think because of our industries are evolving, the pace at which education also evolves yeah. also has to be at the same rate. Yeah. So it's a quite a challenge that uh, we need to be responsive towards. It's quite a challenge because most of Africa are going to WhatsApp the fourth industrial revolution, yeah. and we're still teaching children what dissect an insect. Mm. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. that about the scholar. You understand? About the understand the scholar. It's everything. It's not just the book that you find the scholar in. In as a whole, it's the amount of time you the paper and just always educate yourself. Generally, WhatsApp status has us update us. Now it's updating on laws with what's happening in the world. God, to get you meaning we are not going to be. You A part of the economics that comes to unemployment is also the understanding of things like financial literacy. You know, of how we move into the world of saying Asna Mali and how far in can we go into education to introduce um, our concepts like financial literacy. Mina, in your opinion, when how, how do we change from an education perspective to an actual motion of education? Well, um, it, it starts with the engine. Sure. Engine, um, Upeg, Guti, Aba. O abazali ba fudi sarangja na bantu na baba. Yeah. Oguti imali ipatwa sarangja. Yeah. From lapo is also ga ES Goldwyn. Yeah. So those two things will complement each other. Mm. Um, but without it, I learn engineering because engineering is the base. You can't expect a teacher jungo pumlani to teach umtana ko into weno ngai kalanga engineering. So it becomes difficult that way. But kai thing busege in this element, then how does that impact the crime? Because I need to nigumta ni mal engineering. Right? You give your child money, which is a party's caffeine. Same money that can be used for, for drugs, same money that can be used now to start to be involved in gangs. In your opinion, how do you think that affects crime? Well, I mean, I think we need to go back to that thing. Which, um, exactly. Do you know that yeah. thing? So, um, yeah. I know that thing. So, that community based, um, that that old adage, it takes yeah. a village, quote a unquote, village. to rate a child. Mm. I think we are losing it, and unfortunately, it's manifesting itself with the high crime rates as in Tuzinjal. Quick one. Is it the fault of government or Islam being king in Pagatiet? A bit of both, but more in Pagatin. I think we've we've outsourced in Pilose to mm. with government. So Umuntu Agananto Utai Mabe government is also not so. Yes, the government is very important. I'm sure. a policy and making people feel safe yeah. in the community, giving access to opportunities in the education. Yeah. But also now as umzali, now ni as umpagati, you are very important as well. Um, I would say right now my biggest fear it's being a woman itself because mm. you can't walk freely without looking over your shoulder not because it's something that it's our daily bread but but we are tandas figure safe and lean mm. it's no longer cute sure. uh, We've got social media melody coming from melody coming from Busi so on Nombatana. My biggest fear is unemployment. I'm a UNISA student and funded by NASFAS, living with my unemployed parents and four siblings. What will be of us if the elder is if I as the elder's daughter don't find a job and help out my parents? Finding a job is hard at the same time. I have to study and still stress about finances. Sure, that's 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 a real fear, guys. It's a seriously real, real fear of all South Africans that are living right now in the current economic state. But we're going to be talking a little bit more about that and some of the other issues that yeah. people have in the country. Please do stay with us.
you picked a career path that is relevant. That is relevant right now. Oh, no, now, no, I was, I was, right? I was asking about my guess. Camera phones are getting fine. better. I'm fine. People are, don't want. Most democratic South Africa and a lot of people are still grappling with the idea of living in fear. and I met your service. The Daily and we are speaking to South African and non-South African citizens. But what is it that they really fear in South Africa? Being a woman in South Africa, that alone is a risk because femicide is real, crime is real. So and how are they really coping around the circumstances? When you figure in South Africa and Wahamba, yes, it is that. So, as soon as I press, I would to ham. Me and it was 2006. That time, younger than Vula, Umaneti, as was Ulima, as was Uti, Sensa Ganja, and Ubuja, Gasuela, and Mali, and Limi, Abuja. Besides, I do things I mean, be that one. Our leader now is in jail. Huh? Now it's three years now. So who is the opposition party now? It's like a opposition leader. Huh? The all are in such a jail. Some of them are run away from country. So he's killing, he's put in jail. That's why many people are run away now from Bangladesh. <laughs> Especially Problem is the one is the coming the shop. He takes our stock. When it's good, uh, those people in that shoot the people are killing like this. Well, I ask you a question, why is killing us? We are not fighting when it's coming to the shop. You take the stock, you must go. Don't kill us. All right, sir. I will kill you. Seems good. I was telling you that they too. I have a chance of a moshi. I was telling you that they too. The property, you can do koga. But this is not for you. Many people are coming to many countries from Bangladesh. No? You know what happened in the Bangladesh, maybe you will see the news. No? So when we are coming here, we don't get any job, we just open the small business, truck shop, small supermarket. So when we open the business here, we sell our land, we sell our house, that side. we bring it some money here, we invest. But our life is not safe too much here. Nani na ibone lugu tama tama ni ngai bone umzanti kwenye lesenga fanya abanye ba right base kuti segu ngonyo ane abanye ba ya kala ba tenge zidazaga kashindi. According to the South African Police Services, they've said that in South Africa, every 30 minutes, 
Kona Okanga, there's a crime that's been committed. I mean, I believe it's probably like every 15 seconds. Then Jela is in those Bonanga Kona with social media. Just this morning, being funde family, Umama Nubaba, who were kidnapped and were told to get Umama Zanga was a way like Kaya. And you sit and you think about Guti, Baza by Kaba and Guti, Bashi Ubaba, Batatu Mama Wengani. Nizan is Guzi. Are we really that comfortable as a bantu in crime in South Africa? Even by gang, Nipele, Pibena Manja, and Sai is even by Maju Kubega. But also, the Kona is in Guzi and Swami because. The psychological challenges of Ugbanjin Kuns are heavy. Psychological post trauma of Uguti Ulatigal Mama, Ubon Muntabulu Mawako, in Tenkulak Sintangan. But how do we deal with it? How do we treat it? Kamba Ganganis, we see Uazut Usnig and manage your perspective. So, Master Tabanga, PTSD, when we talk about trauma, yeah. we first of all have to understand with South Africa on its own yeah. is a country that is very violent. Yeah. And what you find with Indabaya trauma is that it then spills into other aspects of one's life. Yeah. And sometimes when things happen to us, the immediate response is adrenaline response, fight or flight. Yeah. And what that serves is it's an evolutionary kind of instinct for mm. you to, to survive and for your mind to reconcile what is happening and for your ego to be preserved so that you can actually deal with the challenge in front of you. Mm. But what then happens is that within the trauma sits in your body and what happens is throughout time you find that you then find all of these little things that then happen. You struggle to eat, you struggle to, you know, to sleep, you struggle to go into certain spaces, you get quite triggered and you know, you've got these physiological responses to certain spaces. Mm. And what we are as a country is that you know, even if something happens to you now and you feel like you're okay, most likely in the future, you will still feel greatly okay, impacted right. by it. So, I, I just couldn't make another one. It's a young woman who's gone through trauma, right? Like, how, how do we identify the post trauma? How do we know that young woman who's been affected by certain things, but young woman just says, I trauma in psychology, we for in, and we have this already thing. So what we often find, Uguti, you have certain attributes such as being aggressive, being yeah. irritable. Mm. Um, coming into certain spaces, your heart starts to race, yeah. or you have this uneasy feeling. Abanye you have nausea. Yabanu Uguti, umutageko settled in yeah. whatever that needs to happen. Others are even triggered by scent, smell, color. Mm. You know, certain facial expressions or certain facial features. So what happens is, or even a car, if you've been abducted, for mm. example, in a for the lack of a better term, any car, for example, what happens is when you see that car again, it triggers that kind of response from you as well. Yeah, but also so many as as Jobu Shogun Jalu Kumbula, as Umuto Musha, Nitting Habin Pagatin, Ubonu Mamundung, Abambis Kwam, Ubak Velemina, a young black boy was a look sheen as related to the work. Lam Sanjing, Ibonu Mamumia Mahamba Ganji. Oh, the changes in terms of Yeah, I think just listening to the psychologist is boosty. Just thinking about also our mental health, Lorenza. You know, a lot of young people by Bulaya got a depression. Can you maybe take us through the fear and the actual real fear of having a mental issue? Um, what I can say is that it starts at home. Yeah. If you don't have a good support system and if you don't have a support system around you, mm. that because your parents might be like they are off yeah but at least if you have your aunts or your uncles that are supporting you and whatever then it's easier to deal with yeah. issues in the home and you won't be exposed to mental health mental illness yes. like the other child who is in a, a surrounding that has drug addicts and they've been raped and whatever and there's no one that they can tell they don't know who to call they don't know psychologists where they can find them mm. they will obviously grow and what I find is that people just bottle everything up. By the time that they grow up and they explode, mm. everyone around them, mm. you know, mm. feels it. And by the time you've exploded, it's, it's already too, too late. late. Maybe let's speak to Sia just a little bit before we go to our caller who's on the line. Sia, South Africa is generally a violent country. Does that mean then we give up and say, because it's a violent country, I need to live in fear, and I, I'm not sure, I always need to be overprotective of myself? 
No, that's the, that's 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 true. But here's the thing with fear: fear paralyzes. Yes. And we need to look beyond fear for yes. in order for us to move forward as a nation. We mm. need to be courageous and move forward. So we can't afford to give up. We do not have the luxury give of up. giving up. Yeah. For the sake of our kids and for the sake of ourselves. When I see young people here, I always say that we can no longer push the narrative of tomorrow's leaders, future leaders. We are today's leaders. leaders. Mm. So so it is up to us to take over and say that we are taking charge of our problems. We are taking ownership of our problems. And just to link it quickly with, with the issue of femicide, yes. that the people who are killing women, they are directly affecting the economy. Of course. Mm. And they are mm. not aware mm. that the very same people who go out and pen streets and see unemployment. South Africa, last time I checked, there was about 57 million of us. Mm. Yeah. 51% of that uh, 57 million, it's female. Yes. About 37% of that, it's youth. Yes. That says to us, South Africa, it's young, young and it's female. black, mm. and it's female. Yes. So we cannot continue to kill young black women. In fact, we cannot continue to kill women. And we can just continue, uh, not continue to, to be a violent nation in Definitely. Yeah. Uh, do you quickly, with a yes or a no, yeah. do all South Africans need to go see some therapist at some point? I think we are collectively traumatized. Collectively traumatized. So we, 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 we need to. We are talking about therapy, Melody, but let's take Masite. Tumela Masite? Tumela. Lekai Papa? Mama Lekai. Rerona, Utosa King in South Africa. Because <laughs> 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 And like, and Guys, uh, and that is the reality of most South Africans. We're living in fear every single day. These are the real fears of South Africans. And this is the conversation that we're opening up. Do stay with us after the break.
पॉलिस आई थिंक I'm saying I've got four guests on my side. Do I go down the line so that they, they all conclude? And then we have Wisi, let's speak last. Okay. But, oh, oh, okay, uh, so we'll just bounce like this uh, until... Brief message of hope. Welcome back to Daily Test and I go SAPC one again. No more singing to show you a pair of Katazegi. Be pair of show Kubulu to my Facebook. I'm going to see you here. For when I'm going to go to Sky to go Facebook Live. Go to Joba in Kulubi Kubega, mind you. Go hashtag Daily Test. School my mind you. CCT, CRP, best la. We've spoken about thinking as a Sam Slavian. We've spoken about my challenges just now in Pagatini. We've spoken about the psychological elements. Go to. I just sneak in the it's Uber Tampa, but sneak in the work and go to sing in the physical. We go to see solve the link in the snaps. We are taking a look at the with putting the miso. I think Gumbono Wami is cutting Spilaguso, um, Strailuti, Kalaxis, Washington And I think that's the same approach Manga Botolutia, Mutaga Sebenzi, Nabantaba, Shabanga Sebens, Tolutim, Slami, Bassin, Sama Plastic, about Tolestratin, Bayenza, Ama Pegs, and so on and so forth, by what Daisa. So I think Usia and Daishilo is quite true that we don't have any other choice but to be proactive about a situation, particularly Mailana Nogwenza, Mailana Nizendozom Noto. Now, Futi, Funanji, Lela, Uguti, as Tina, I'm a daughter. Uh, we have a big responsibility towards protecting women and our sisters, Ekaya, and in our community as well. So over and above that, it's important that as men we step up and we play a proactive part in that respect. Sure. Mm. That is amazing. Men need to step up. But I think it's everybody that needs to step up at yeah. the end of the day. And I think Sia has put it out there. We, are, we, we all have to become leaders now. Mm. Yeah was a back, back in the day was okay now it's not because it's cultivating lo mcaba ngukuthi ukushaya into ombazana ku right i actually was never okay mafusi again um i'll see um kibona kina hana ho gaba nini um ha ka khutla that thing yo re um community ya tlokomelana ya tlokomelana there should be unity among ourselves yeah and ska uchi lo nda to gaba nini um le o se ka mo go discipline ka nako ka la ka mo ka tlo go na sena i think la ka khotsa one or attacking her into high sea how high sea how thumper into ya moto eating one as then loho leha since in tomato mutamo hole aska askanka one a move on or attacking get taka high ah ah buajo look a mutual buajo look and that day buajo look a me because the next of kimu so i didn't have a car but never started back out with okay no no i thought you saw one of it or something hana tava all over with a kilo sharp i would want to but no yeah how's the co-op time for number one sure one that's it yeah yes all right says lorenza um what i'd like to say is that embrace the situations around us yeah and that with us youth especially with the fourth industrial revo um, revolution that is currently Can't it's been it's here. here it's, here. it's mm. been here we just were, were turning a blind eye to it and now because it's taking away jobs mm. like all the time mm. now we feel like oh my gosh no guys it's been here embrace it whatever you're doing there's online courses for coding there's online courses for web design anything just make yourself open to the reality that is coming yeah and also our parents didn't have the opportunities we had yeah. mm. the system that they had they couldn't go to universities they couldn't have access to these things we have freedom to find these things we can ask anyone you know for help for assistance social media you can ask anyone for assistance ask for assistance if you don't have it and just embrace this mm. this four mm. ir because mm. it's not going anywhere and it's going to get worse mm. and it's going to be here it's going to mm. take your job if mm. you don't embrace mm. it but see ya yes quickly I mean, what i would like to say Uti, uh, one we need to cultivate a vision mm. as young people of this country that says we are not going to 
um, allow the status quo to continue as it is. And now we need to be actively involved and be active participating in issues that affect the society, whether it's politically, whether it's economically, whether it's uh, socially, or even morally. We need to be active participants in making sure that we drive the change that we want to see in South Africa. And just to say that young people, you need to be actively involved again. Please, uh, social media, it's, uh, it's helpful, but uh, put the phone down, go to the municipality, ask questions, ask a uh, service deliverer what's happening. We need to be out there sure. practically on the ground. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> with three key factors Melissa's consider that could assist psychologically for Aban Basimaka. So the first one is that chaos exists, but we must keep going. We need sure. to keep moving, keep living, keep looking forward to, to life and what it has to bring for us. I think one thing, like it was said, was you cannot allow yourself to be paralyzed by fear. Mm. And that's the condition of how life is. But what we need to do is we need to find productive ways and proactive ways to exist in this society. What is, what is wisdom? And wisdom is finding insight around certain spaces that you know would expose you greater to some risks and trying to work around it. Yes, it's an inconvenience to wake up in the morning and have to think of 101 ways in which you could be at risk, but it also puts you in a better place in terms of your survival to be at that level of being alert and look out for your life. Sure. I get we are well again now I'm going to go to the I think between you yourself and I, the to be involved. to be involved. It's very important for you to have a voice amongst your friends. Mm. These things start in the circles that tell one. Our friends, our family, who are involved in crime, that we're not raising the voice until one day they steal from you. Now we must cry with you. So I think Jongo Mutomo is so important for us to always voice out where you are. Before you expect people to be accountable, are you accountable? And remember, conversation on Sana Isipela, Facebook. Tiano, are we living in fear of the unknown? Mm. We don't know what might happen to our futures. With too much killing, nepotism, corruption, drug abuse, political scandals, we no longer feel safe in our country. I don't know we're going to feel unsafe in our country, guys. I don't know if we're going to feel unsafe. Guys, it's going to be an absolutely amazing one tomorrow. It is a Thursday after all, and we are going to be talking about the explosion, explosion of Amar Piano. Of Amar Piano. Yeah. So do tune in every Monday to Thursday, yep. half past 10 to half past 11, only on SABC One, and we are live on Facebook. Book, right? Yeah. So, I feel the footage down exactly at this time, up past 10 to up past 11. Thank you.